it's not uncommon to be faced with this scenario. I'm looking at a at a design here for a, a rear space behind a building. And if I right click and select zoom extent, you can see suddenly the view changes. There's some information here. I think it's the it's the planting schedule uh, and some more location information over here, quite possibly existing uh, species, but we've lost the design that we were looking at. So zoom extents again, you might just be able to see that way down in the corner here is the design that we were looking at. So there are a couple of ways to do it. You could move these top left group down closer, or I think a simpler solution would be to select the design that we were just looking at and then right click and move it so that it's a, it's a little closer in to where we want to do it, where we want to work on it. Now, a zoom extends at least shows us this design. But I want to introduce uh, you to another potential problem. Your models, we're in model space here, should be full size. If we zoom in on our design here, you'll notice that the designer has put a scale bar here, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And if I activate the properties box via view and properties, and I select the interval gap there, you can see that its length is 0 0.035. So in order to work on this drawing, we need to scale it up so that when we make inquiries of the drawing, we get numbers back that are meaningful. Here's a garden bed area through here. If we went tools and distance from there to there, we get a distance of 0 0.058, whatever the drawing units happen to be. Even if it's millimetres, it's nonsensical. It's not right. So this is not an accurate full size, full model of the design that the designer is working on. We need to rescale it so that numbers are meaningful. To make our scaling work a little easier, what I will do is, is select the whole group there of the design that we're going to scale. I'll right click and I'll create a block of it and we'll call it scale for want of a better name. So now it's one entity, so now we can scale it. So if we select it, it's one entity. We can select scale. Base point will just mark in the middle there and we've got to scale it by 28,571. Five seven one, and hit enter, and GK Plus will go off and rescale. So a zoom extents now should show us, and we better zoom out. Will show us our drawing scaled up. The result of the scaling operation means that we now have some meaningful numbers. So for the sake of argument, we could zoom in on this area, and we could use the distance tool. What's the distance from there across to that path? Eight hundred and fifty millimeters, which is a reasonable value for the path width and uh, the same applies to some of the symbols if we were to measure some of these uh, that would be reasonably close to a one meter canopy diameter so scaling your drawing and making sure that what you're working on in model space reflects the units that you use on the ground and on the ground in the landscape field most people would use millimeters so we'd have to change these values to 1000 2000 and 3000 on our scale bar